Moses Vellapi is no longer a beggar, but a budding entrepreneur. He's caused quite a stir with motorists in recent weeks. Okay, like uh, first I was doing jokes, you see. Yeah. yeah, now I could see maybe why see when they speak to me about my joke, you see. So my sister, uh, their pronunciation would be wrong, but you could hear you know, what you know, she is trying to say. Now that's where I came with an idea. Many pass him on their way to work in the morning, but not without learning a new word. Velapi offers to teach people a Zulu word for a buck at a time. I'm motivated by their interest. Yeah, many people are interested. I also have regulars, but mostly it's the white community which encourages me. As I teach them, you could see that they are willing to learn. He's now been dubbed the Zulu traffic teacher. Velapi feels that his services are different and better than begging. He may be homeless, but he doesn't lack imagination. They were here, they heard my story and they laughed what I'm doing. At the end, they offered me a bazaar. Unfortunately, they asked me what I would like to do in the future. And I told them I would like to go and study sound engineering. And his determination has paid off. A local radio station has given Velampi a bursary to study in his chosen field. Our example, we say name for name in Zulu, Ikama. Then our second example for surname, we say Isibongo. Moses has already left his life on the streets of Johannesburg. He's currently receiving treatment before he can start his studies. Motorists are now missing him at the street corner where he became famous for teaching them Zulu words. But they're pleased that he's received an opportunity to make a better life for himself. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.